Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another video. So it's that time again where I'm gonna be doing another unboxing video. And yes, it's another Apple Watch. I know. I'm kind of obsessed with these Apple Watches. I don't know, it's becoming a thing now. But yeah, so this time around I'm going to be unboxing the Apple Watch SE and I'm going to be doing a mini comparison of the Apple Watch SE versus the Series 6. Okay, so I already did the unboxing for the Series 6. So if you want to see uh, the Series 6 unboxing, you can click on the link up somewhere here. I'm going to link it up here. So click up there and you can check out that video and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. We are also going to look at the price difference between the Series 6 and the SE. Which one is cheaper, which one is more expensive, which one is suitable for you. Okay, for especially for someone who is in Africa and using the Apple Watch, is it really worth getting the Series 6? We are going to look at all that. So without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. So first, before I unwrap this, I just wanted to show you the specs. So I got the SE. Uh, so I got the Space Gray aluminum case with the black sport band. So I'm just going to go ahead and unwrap this. This is so satisfying. I just love this part. Okay, so we are going to just go ahead and open it. our two boxes which is for the case and then we also have the one for the band so before we go into opening up the case and the band I just wanted to show you the difference in the boxes so with the series 6 you can see the letters are engraved they even feel so nice it feels more of quality whereas for the SE you can see there's just the letters were just printed on so they were not engraved so the inside of the box this is how it looks like so let's compare it with the one for the series 6 since I already did the unboxing for this one I'm just going to show you the box so inside inside they practically look the same there's no difference inside so it's just the top that is different so I'm going to set these aside. So first I'm going to just do the unboxing of the of the band. The black band is actually quite cute. I actually love it. I didn't think that it would be this nice actually. Maybe I should order one for my 40mm series 6. Something to think about. So this is how the band looks like. So I'm just going to remove the small one, small medium, since I have a small wrist. Then moving on to the case. This is the case for the, this is the case for the SE. As you can see, this one is more of a plastic compared to, let me just take out the one for the Series 6 so you can, you can see the difference. So this is the one for the Series 6 that I did an unboxing on. It's a cardboard thingy. It's like this and then compared to this one where it's just like a thing that you basically just rip off. So yeah, so there is a difference actually between the two. So um, we're going to put on the case, I have the bands. It's supposed to make like a clicking sound. So now I'm just going to get my Apple Watch Series 6 and we are going to compare the two. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. 
So I'm back and I have my Apple Watch Series 6 with me uh, just to do a mini comparison with the SE. So they almost look alike. If you look at them, like uh, they are kind of identical if you have to put them like next to each other. The difference between the Series 6 and the SE basically uh, is the fact that it's written SE behind. You'll see here it's written se i don't know if you can see yeah so it's written se somewhere here uh while this one is just written series six sorry it's a bit um dirty but yeah it's written series six so that's how you can tell the difference between the two as well as now the ring on the crown on the series six and this one doesn't have for the gps version okay so the only other thing that the, that is different between the Series 6 and the SE is that the Series 6, which is this one, has, has the always on display. As you can see, the screen is always on compared to the SE version, which does not have the always on display. So the difference between the SE and the Series 6 is that the SE doesn't have the always on display, it doesn't have the ECG, and it doesn't have the blood oxygen meter. Apart from that, they are basically the same watch. So they both have um, retina display, they both have fault detection, they both have irregular rhythm notification, they both have heart rate monitoring. So basically everything else is the same apart from the ECG, the blood oxygen, and the fact that the series 6 also has the always on display okay for me i don't really think the ecg is really helpful because i'm a young person i'm not at any risk of cardiac disease at this point or having an arrhythmia at this point or blood oxygen might be helpful for during the time of covid but apart from that i don't see how it will be useful for me. I work in the hospital. I can always check my situation if I wanted to. But yeah, maybe it's just a cool app to have, but it's not really of that much value for you to really go for the Series 6, in my opinion. I'm just a person who likes to be extra and always want to be on top of everything. That's why I decided to get the Series 6. Yeah, so if you are like me, you can get the Series 6. But if you are not bothered and want something cheaper, then the SE is for most people actually because it's really good for your pockets. Most people would really benefit from the SE rather than the Series 6 unless you are old and you have got comorbidities and you are at high risk of arrhythmias or so. Then you can get probably like for your grandparents, you can get the, the, the one with the Series 6 because it can help them in case... They are having an irregular rhythm or whatever it is okay i also wanted to add that if you are in namibia or in africa actually in the, for that matter the ecg and the blood oxygen meter don't work okay so the only benefit that you're going to get from the series 6 is the fact that it has the always on display the rest of the stuff don't work in africa as well so you might as well get the SE because it's cheaper if you think about it unless you are one of those people who want the always on display which is the only difference you are gonna get especially if you are in Africa specifically Namibia but now that we have that on this uh, on the side we are gonna compare the sizes of this watch we're gonna compare the size as well as the color for those who are stuck between getting the gold aluminium or the space gray or if you are stuck between getting the 40 millimeters versus the 44 millimeters this is a comparison video and i got you all so after this video i hope you'll be able to make a decision that is good for your pocket okay to save some kaching you can never go wrong with saving some money in your pocket so let me help you guys to make the right decision on which apple watch actually will suit you based on the fact that not all the features work in all the countries so you can always go on the iStore website they'll show you which countries which apps work in which countries you can always do your uh, some research on your own 
and see which countries are compatible with the ECG and the, and the blood oxygen meter. So anyway, let's compare the sizes of the 40 millimeter versus the 44. So basically, this is my series six. This is how it looks like. And I'm gonna put the SE just right next to it while it's still busy uh, pairing to my phone. I'm just gonna put it next to the series six just for you guys to see. So yeah. I'm not sure if it's quite clear, but this is how they look like next to each other. Okay, so I think people are exaggerating when they say that the 44 millimeter is huge because it's actually my first time wearing one and it's not bad actually. I'm regretting getting the 40 millimeter now. I wish I could have gotten the 44 millimeter because this is the SE and I got this for somebody. Yeah. I think my next watch is gonna be a 44 millimeter because yeah it's actually not bad look at the size of 44 millimeter and look at this this looks smaller yeah looks way smaller like like why would you want a 40 millimeter like this biggest screen is always better go big or go home so this is how the space gray looks like and this is how the gold aluminium looks like. That is how they look like up close. Um, I don't know which one looks nicer. The gold aluminium looks nice but you can't wait with everything. The space gray I feel you can wait with different things but yeah this is more feminine. Yeah, for ladies, most ladies will ideally go for this, and this is more of a guy color. But yeah, so the problem is if you are stuck between the gold and the space gray. I think both of them actually look nice. I would wear both of them. Yeah, so I don't know. You choose which one you think is better for you: the gold aluminium or the space gray, because they all look pretty. I I would go for either of them actually. I'm actually ordering a Nike edition in the space gray version because I actually started falling in love with the space gray. But yeah, I'm also kind of also still like, whew, I'm still attached to the gold aluminium. So it's going to be like a battle like, did I make the right decision or I didn't make the right decision. We'll see in the long run which one I think is better. Only problem is we don't have an eye store and I'm not able to test out the Apple watches myself. So you just get to see them after you have already bought them and there is no way that you can return them. So that is the problem I have. Can I store please order some Apple watches that we can review in the shops? Please Apple do this for us. So uh, if you would like to see more videos about Apple watches don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So I might also make another video on things that are five things or ten things that I love about the Apple Watch as well as probably five things that I hate about the Apple Watch. Yeah, I'll make a video on that. So if you want to see more content related to that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.